Contra Operation Galaga is more than just another remake of the original Contra. It's a retelling and re- Contra Operation Galaga is more than just another remake of the original Contra. It's Operation what? IGN. What happened, bro? You used to be cool. What? <laughs>what's going on guys Vic VP here just did a quick live stream not really quick it was about an hour and a half long playing the newly released Contra Operation Galuga uh, I'm just making this quick video because I you know people now at this day and age people don't really care about IGN and their opinions but for you to rate this game a six and for whoever is rating it which I assume is the person that is talking for him to pronounce Galuga Galaga? IGN, man. Who you got working and doing your reviews? What? <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie. Last night, the review for this aired. Uh, it, was, it aired about, I don't know, maybe a couple hours before the actual official release of the game. So, I was like, all right, let me check this out. I enjoyed the demo. The demo is great. And if you know me, I do play on the arcade sticks. I'm actually playing on arcade hardware. This game plays amazing on arcade hardware and as you can see the first 10 seconds of that review it already made me question the review <laughs> now yes me 33 years old IGN was huge growing up but now people really don't give a shit what they say because honestly it's a review like that and yes I am making a big deal about how he pronounced Galuga it's very crazy because the first like mission cutscene Commander Doyle says Galuga twice. We've confirmed reports they've set up shop on the main island of Galuga. Boom. There you go. Yes. <laughs> you got the nerve that Doyle tells us Galuga and you got the nerve to call it Galaga. Get the fuck out of here, IGN. Are you fucking kidding me? Galuga. Galuga. He says it twice. <laughs> He's definitely wrong. So for you to say Galaga, I understand maybe apparently the reviewer is a retro head. Maybe he is thinking Galaga because of, you know, retro arcade gaming. But I mean, it's just something kind of silly like that for you to mispronounce it. It's kind of silly. Now, don't flame me in the comments. You might be saying, Vic, it's just a pronunciation. That threw me off. That whole review right there, as you can see how I'm taking it, it basically shows me that you probably didn't play the game. Especially if Doyle says Galuga. And Galuga is said several times. Come on. Now, the other thing that shocked me is that you rated this a 6 out of 10. It is a beautiful game. It is a, it's, it's an amazing game. Just playing story mode, right now I'm on level 7. It took me about an hour to about an hour and a half to get to level 7. Playing on normal, playing with health bar. Not really playing how the original Contra was where it's a one-hit kill. Me, I'm right now just wanted to play the story mode, so I played how I played the demo. One hit kill is definitely quite a challenge, but I feel like they gave it a six because maybe it was just too short of a game, but there are quite other things going on. Again, if you do change the mode to hard, or even if you change it to the one-shot kill mode, I could imagine this game is going to take quite a while to play. Not to mention, they added the challenge mode. You have a couple of different options, such as horde mode and speed run one and all that. I guess they rated it a 6 because it was a short story-based game. I didn't even watch the full review. That's how upset I was just based on the guy pronouncing it Galaga. I already knew that that review was just not, it, it doesn't even matter. Now, sadly, in this day and age, we do look at reviews. Everybody looks at reviews, and IGN is usually the ones that review first. They're the ones that post first, and they're always the ones that review first. And it's just kind of sad to see that an amazing game like this got a 6 out of 10. You could take a look at my live stream that I did. There's a couple of scenes, and I'll probably post it after my little, you know, rant here. I'll post a couple of clips from the live stream. You could see me in all happiness, reliving childhood, especially the Genesis version. A couple of enemies and bosses and stuff that came out of it. Even like the, the cutscene where, you know, you're kind of running away from a boss, and it's kind of like a vertical view. It, this, this game right here, if you're a Contra fan... This is a game to play. IGN, you just got to do better. I, I was like, whoa, Contra, Con Galaga makes an appearance in Contra? I, <laughs> a 
Let me know in the comments down below if you play this and let me know what you think of IGN's review. IGN, man, you, you used to be cool, dude. What happened? <laughs>